All right, what's up guys? So what I wanted to do in this episode, those of you that saw a few episodes back, um, TJ took an entire episode and devoted it to really laying out uh, the opportunity. We're looking for a new director of the Daily Bread uh, vlog. And he kind of ironed out what that looks like, what that's looked like for him, and kind of some of the, not necessarily requirements, but some of the things that a person that would take on uh, this opportunity or this challenge uh, would need to be uh, able to face and be able to handle and, and all that good stuff. Um, so what I wanted to do in this episode is give you my opinion on this opportunity and what comes along with it, but also my commitment to the person that would take on this challenge and take on uh, this opportunity. And I say opportunity and challenge because it's both. It's challenging because it is um, a lot of work. It's a lot of different environments, maybe that that person hasn't been in. It's also dealing with a lot of different personalities, uh, myself included. <laughs> it's dealing with a lot of um, obstacles along the way, meaning a day when all of a sudden there's just no content and, and we're having to search for ideas on, on what to record uh, some content about to be able to put out an episode. There may be a day where you're stuck in the back of a, a golf cart in 90 degree weather uh, as I'm running a 5k, <laughs> which is real life. Um, there may be a day uh, where you're at a huge convention and all of a sudden now uh, you got to capture b-roll from a million different directions but also be able to focus on the main kind of storyline uh, which is the speech that day and then be able to then hop into editor mode and and edit that video and get it out the next day um, it's a lot of multitasking but i think it will grow an individual uh, in a number of different ways um, i've seen that you know obviously personally with with TJ, but my commitment to the person that takes on that challenge and opportunity is whatever they want to get out of it, I want them to get out of it. And so whether that's by the relationships that they can build with people that they meet through this opportunity. Just think about with TJ and I, we've been to Miami a few times to events. We went to Gary V's event in Miami, um, sat and talked with some incredible people that we've built uh, long-term relationships with now and have spent uh, subsequent meetings and, and days with. Uh, we've been to New York a couple of times and sitting down with people like Gerard Adams and Jason Ciano and, and just a number of different entrepreneurs and influencers and been able to build relationships there. Digital Jeff, uh, another great person that we met with uh, in New York. We've been out to LA a couple of times. We've been to Vegas, we've been to Utah. Uh, we've been all over the state of Georgia. We've met with incredible people that TJ has had the opportunity to build actual relationships with. TJ has better relationships with some of these people than I do. Um, even though I was there to meet with that person, TJ left and built a great relationship with that person. So the ability to build a network, which we all, all know that your network is your net worth, um, is huge. The, also the ability to learn skills, like whatever that person wants to learn in, in regards to video, in regards to the actual capturing of the footage, to the editing of the footage. We will provide an environment where they can learn and grow and do that very, very, very rapidly. The next thing it will enable that person to do is be put in an environment that is 100% growth focused. In our office, our vision, our mission from day one is to empower every single person. So you're gonna be able to sit in on our um, bi-weekly uh, company meetings where we're constantly going through um, uh, a book and it's all about self-development and we're talking about that book uh, with everybody else in our office. You're gonna be able to sit down with the CEO of our company and learn from one of the greatest visionary leaders that I've ever been around and one of my biggest mentors. Uh, these people we, will become mentors for that person that takes on this opportunity. What else uh, does this opportunity uh, represent? To me, it represents the ability to create an insane resume. What I mean by that is by now we've got 146 episodes. This is episode 147, right? Yeah. 147 episodes of content that TJ now has in a catalog of like, hey, what have you been doing the last six months? Oh, let me show you. Here's 147 freaking short films that I created, like literally thousands of hours uh, of work 
real work, but displayed, like how often can you go work thousands of hours at something and then at the end of it, like have this beautiful piece of art that's that's there forever. Uh, so the, the ability to create a resume, call it a portfolio, whatever you want to call it, um, to be able to document your process along with documenting you know, my everyday life. Um, we have a lot of fun too. Like that's the cool thing is we have a lot of fun. We do fun things throughout the week, uh, throughout the month. We're going on trips. We're not staying in terrible places. We're going on nice trips here and there. Um, we're getting to rub shoulders uh, with some of the most elite people uh, that I've ever been around and, and hopefully this person that takes on this opportunity would feel the same. Uh, but ultimately, here's a couple of things that this person needs to have. I, I've mentioned it before, they need to be a multitasker. They need to be able to work quick on their feet. They need to be able to improvise. They need to be able to uh, come up with solutions when there's a problem that arises like, hey, we ran out of we ran out of memory on this card and we're doing this project right now and we got to figure out what we're going to do. And Hey, we, um, we don't have a tripod, but we got to get this shot. Hey, all these, all these things. So being able to multitask, being able to be a problem uh, solver. Uh, the person also needs to be creative. Um, a huge aspect of this vlog is you get to see a lot of different things. You get to see a keynote speech. You get to see kind of a day in the life, uh, kind of going in and out of meetings. You get to see uh, a, a personal conversation with someone where it's more like a, a fly on the wall. You get to see behind the scenes views of a podcast, behind the scenes um, views of an interview, behind the scenes views of all types of different one-on-one um, -on -one and group um, presentations. You get to see a lot of different things, but the creativity to be able to take all those different elements uh, and produce something that people actually want to watch and people actually find entertaining and educational. Uh, that's huge. And I think the last thing that this person needs to have is just a open mind. Um, this opportunity is what you make it. And what I mean by that is someone can take hold of this and they can say, look, look, this is a job. I'm going to do this job. I'm going to, I'm going to do a six month contract or I'm going to come on for a year and I'm going to do this job. And I'm going to clock in. I'm going to clock out. I'm going to film some stuff. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to throw it on there and they're going to get just that out of it, which is probably not much. Or you can come on board like TJ did and you can really look at this as your own. Like this is my daily vlog that I'm creating. It just so happens that there is a, another major role that plays in it, which is Tyler and really takes ownership of it. Constantly bettering themselves uh, to add different elements to each episode and to make each episode a representation of them. It makes each episode the best episode because you never know who is seeing that episode for the very first time that's seeing the vlog for the very first time in that episode and is going to judge the entire 147 episodes based on the first few minutes that they see in that particular episode. And that particular episode may be something like this, where it's just on the fly in the car. And how can I make this episode just on the fly in the car, the absolute best content that I can create to make a good impression on that person that's seeing for the first time. At the end of the day, what we're trying to do here is provide value and make an impact. And that may seem silly. And if that seems silly to you, you're probably not a person that would need to apply for this job. But what I mean by provide value and create an impact is we have hundreds of messages now from people that have seen the vlog that has impacted them in a myriad of different ways, but that has changed people's lives. Um, people that are following every single day, commenting every single day and letting us know like what this content, what this daily vlog is doing in their lives. And we're being able to see people grow through uh, that process. And so I don't take that lightly at all. Um, and so I would like to have someone that has that serious mindset of, no, I want to go do something uh, big. I want to go do something powerful. It just so happens that I do it on this side of the camera lens and not the other side of the camera lens while I'm in this, um, in this mode. And so 
I couldn't be more excited for the person that comes on board and embraces this opportunity. I couldn't be more excited for TJ moving on to another opportunity where he's going to make a ton of freaking money uh, and be able to set himself up for all of the things and any of the things that he wants to do indefinitely moving forward. Um, so I'm excited about that. You know, certainly there's some mixed feelings as far as moving on from one person to the next as, as with anything in life. Um, but the commitment from day one was for TJ to be in a better place when he left than when he came, which I think he is. Um, and to be able to do that for somebody else and to be able to do that for multiple people over the next few years. I don't see any reason why we're going to stop uh, anytime soon with this daily vlog because for me, selfishly, I just want to document this process and this period of time in my life but other people are getting value from that process. And so as long as that remains the same, then I will commit uh, to doing this every single day. So uh, with that, if you are interested, send me a message and we will get this process started. Um, just some little details. This is a paid job. It is a job. Um, if you do not live in the Greenville, South Carolina area, that's fine. We will fly you out here. We have an apartment. It's furnished all expenses are paid uh, with that and so we really create an opportunity where you don't have to worry about much except for creating the best content that you possibly can uh, and growing yourself as much as possible during the time that we have together um, so again if that's you or if that's someone you may know please shoot me a message um, and we will get that process started and we'll look forward to meeting you Friend.